Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be covering two lighting setups in this quick tip video. Uh, this was requested by the person that's on the screen right now. Ooh, I can't actually see where it's going to be, but I'm, I'm pointing at it. Totally leaving this in the video. Anyway, I'm joined with, by my sister, who is behind the camera, and she's making a peace sign right now. It's probably super out of focus. Did it screw up the focus? Yep. Okay, cool. Am I in focus? Yep. Okay, great. Anyway, let's get into the lighting setups. Alright, so for this setup, we have one red light to the actor's right, which is the camera's left. Camera is over here. And then back here, we have a white light that's not pointed directly at the subject, which makes it so that we have a contrast on the left side of the actor's face. This lighting setup could be augmented by changing the color of the light that is to the left of the subject. You could change it to a blue or a green, I think would work. Maybe not when you're on a green backdrop, but that's definitely an option. This light I have could be changed by changing the gel that's on the top of it. Alright, so here's a creepy one. This one is just achieved by putting a red light in the subject's lap, which worked just fine. Now, if I were to color grade this, I would put a black vignette all around so that the green and the light colors don't show through so much. And the reason I would do that is because when you shoot with a camera, or with a phone really, I'm not shooting with the camera, unfortunately, but if you shoot when it's dark, it'll be super grainy. So it's really not that dark, which keeps it from being too grainy. So I would just make it darker digitally in Premiere or After Effects. Okay, so I am here in Premiere Rush, and I am editing this video, and I was going to show you how to add this vignette here which, I mean, it's really uh, more just like darkening it, but if we reset, reset to default, what I did was I took the vignette amount all the way down, cut some of the feather out, and then dropped the exposure real, real low. That's really all I did. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This is uh, the outro of the video. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.